The Gusel Albanian, Lahuta, Serbian Cyrillic, Gusel Bulgarian, Gusla Romanian, Lauda is a single-stringed musical instrument and musical style traditionally used in the Dinarides region of southeastern Europe. The instrument is always accompanied by singing, musical folklore, specifically epic poetry. The Gusel player holds the instrument vertically between his knees, with the left hand fingers on the strings. The strings are never pressed to the neck, giving a harmonic and unique sound. Topic. Origin Topic. There is no consensus about the origin of the instrument. 6th century Byzantine Greek historian Theophylact Simicata Florida, c. 630, wrote about small lyres brought by the Slavs who settled the Balkans. Some researchers believe that this might have been the gusel. Others, such as F. Sachs, believe that the gusel has an oriental origin, brought to Europe in the 10th century via the Islamic cultural wave. Arab travelers report evidence that the Slavs used the gusel in the 10th century. Theodosij the Hillandarian (1246–1328) wrote that Stefan Nemanjic (r. 1196–1228) often entertained the Serbian nobility with musicians with drums and gusel. Reliable written records about the gusel appear only in the 15th century. 16th century travel memoirs mention the instrument in Bosnia and Serbia. In the 19th and 20th century, the instrument is mentioned in Montenegro, Serbia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Croatia, and also among Albanians. Topic <inaudible> etymology. Topic: The word gusel comes from the Old Slavic word gosl for fiber. The Old Slavic root morpheme godsly, Russian gusly, Slovak husl, Czech housel, Slovenian gosly is associated with guditi per gram osti, or gudalo, godalo. The exact origin of the nominations of the related concepts gusl, gadulka, gudok, and gudalo, the latter as the name for the bow of the gusl, could also illuminate a more accurate assignment in the history of the gusl after Walter Wunsch. In the parlance of the South Slavs, in addition to the plural antum femininum, gusl, that has prevailed as a lexeme, even the older gusli, which is found in the area of the middle Dinalaufs to Arilj and throughout Montenegro. The use of the morphemes e and i is in the same language as the same speaker, alternately it can also be used in lyrics or everyday speech. The singular form, gusla, is found only in eastern Serbia, west of the Timok, around Niz, Ivanjica, as well as in the area of the Zlatibor, on Korčula only. Gusla is in use. The term gusel by Alberto Fortas has been introduced into European literature. However, the Albanian lexem lahuta also refers to another instrument, a kind of eight stringed lute, which is torn with quills. The Albanian lahuta, like the German lute, goes back in Arabic al ud to ud wood, instrument of wood, zither, lute. The gusel is in Serbo Croatian linguistic usage as gusel, however, a plural tetantum femininum Serbo Croat gusla, gusel, Serbian, Cyrillic gusla, gusel, Albanian determines lahuta, undetermined lahut. Overview the gusel consists of a wooden sound box, the maple being considered as the best material, therefore, often the instrument is referred to as Gusel Javorov, maple gusel, covered with an animal skin and a neck with an intricately carved head. A bow is pulled over the string, s, made of horsetail, creating a dramatic and sharp sound, expressive and difficult to master. The string is made of 30 horsehairs. The instrument is held vertically between the knees, with the left hand fingers on the neck. The strings are never pressed to the neck, giving a harmonic and unique sound. The most common and traditional version is single-stringed, while a much less common version is the two-string found in Bosanska Krajina and in Lika. The varieties of the Gislar music are based on cultural basis, the content of the stories of each ethnic group is different, as different epic poems are used to accompany the instrument. There is minor differing characteristics of vocality in the regions of Southeast Europe. The design of the instrument is identical, only the design of the neck and head varies with ethnic or national motives Serbian gusel has Serbian motif, etc. Epic poetry The gusel instrumentally accompanies heroic songs in the Balkans. 
Topic: <inaudible> Serb tradition. Topic: The Serbian gusel has one or two strings and is usually made of maple wood. A guslar is an individual capable of reproducing and composing poems about heroes and historical events to the accompaniment of this instrument, usually in the decasyllable meter. There are records of an instrument named gusel Guzli being played at the court of the 13th century Serbian king Stefan Nemanjic, but it is not certain whether the term was used in its present day meaning or it denoted some other kind of string instrument. Polish poets of the 17th century mentioned the gusel in their works. In a poem published in 1612, Kaspar Mijaskowski wrote that, "...the Serbian gusel and gaitas will overwhelm Shrove Tuesday." Serbski skrzypki i duty ostatek zaglusha. In the idol named Spiwasi, published in 1663, Jozef Bartłomej Zamorowicz used the phrase, "...to sing to the Serbian gusel." Przy Serbskich geslik spiwak. In some older Serbian books on literature it was stated that a Serbian Goslar performed at the court of Vladislaw II Jagello in 1415. The earliest known Serbian Goslar is referred to in 1551 by Hungarian historian Sebastian Tinity, saying, There are many Gusel players here in Hungary, but none is better at the Serbian style than Dimitri Karaman. In addition Sebastian describes the performance, explaining that the Goslar would hold the Gusel between his knees and goes into a highly emotional artistic performance with a sad and dedicated expression on his face. The Gusel has played a significant role in the history of Serbian epic poetry because of its association with the centuries-old patriotic oral legacy. Most of the epics are about the era of the Ottoman occupation and the struggle for the liberation from it. With the efforts of ethnographer Vuk Stefanovic Karadzic, many of these epics have been collected and published in books in the first half of the 19th century. Serbian folk poetry was given a marvelous reception, as it appeared in Europe when Romanticism was in full bloom. This poetry, which appeared in Karadzic's anthological collections, met the expectations of the sophisticated European audience, becoming a living confirmation of Herder's and Grimm ideas about the oral tradition. Jacob Grimm began to learn Serbian so that he could read the poems in the original. He wrote minute analyses of each new volume of Serbian folk songs. He ranked them as being equal to the Song of Songs, as did Goethe somewhat later. Thanks to Grimm, moreover to the initiatives of the well-educated and wise Slovene Jernej Kopitar the censor for Slavic books, Karadzic. S. Counselor and Protector, Serbian folk literature found its place in the literature of the world. <inaudible> Montenegrin tradition <inaudible> Gusel are a national instrument in Montenegro and fundamental to national music, folklore and tradition. In carving the instrument, special attention is given to the head, so on Montenegrin gusel, one can find a large number of carved shapes, most often it is a double-headed eagle, like the one from the state heraldry, the shape of the mountain Lovsen, or the characters from the Montenegrin history, such as Petr II Petrovic Njegos. Among the most famous Montenegrin contemporary guslar poets is Dordij Koprivica, who started playing gusel at the age of five. He played around the world including Canada, United States, Australia and Europe. Topic. Albanian tradition Topic. The lahuta is used by Gheg Albanians of northernmost Albania Malaysia for the singing of epic songs or Albanian songs of the frontier warriors. The instrument was very common in Kosovo and Albania, especially in the mountain regions such as Malsha. In Albanian types, the lute's head is often carved after a goat's head or a hawk, the latter representing the Albanian flag. It is played by a rhapsod. The Albanian songs are octosyllable, in relation to the decasyllable Serbian, and a more primitive type of rhyming is regular. The use of lahuta is traditionally mastered in the highlands and Malisi e Mata district. The epic songs are mostly sung accompanied by the sifteli, which is more widely spread than the lahuta in some villages. Gjergj Fishta, the Albanian national poet and priest, wrote the book, Lahuta e Malsis, which translates to the high mountain lute, and is often played with a lahuta. The famous Albanian song about Gjergj Elas Alia, the Albanian mythological hero who slays a beast that rises from the sea, is also played with a lahuta. Croatian tradition 
Topic. The Gusel has been used by the Croats and Vlachs in Herzegovina, the South Croatian hinterland, Lika, as well as in Bosnia and Western Bosnia as an accompaniment for epic poetry for hundreds of years. Often they were constructed by the singers and players themselves, shepherds or even by specialized Gusel builders from urban areas. Most lyrics center around historical figures who played an important role in Croatian history often folk heroes who died tragic deaths, such as Hajduks or significant historical events mostly battles against invaders or occupying powers. Perhaps the most famous Croatian Gislar poets was Andrija Kasik Miosic, an 18th-century monk who created and collected many Gusel lyrics and songs throughout the regions, which are still sung today. Croatia's most famous contemporary Gislar is Mile Krina. Although Gusel are not a part of mainstream popular music, the instrument has been included into songs by some musicians such as Marko Perković Thompson, Mate Bulik, and Dario Plevnik. Gusel recordings can be heard on a number of CD compilations published by Croatian ethnologists, which are in most cases distributed locally by the artists themselves. References Topic. Topic. Sources. Topic. Topic. Further reading. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. The History of Serbian Culture, translated by Randall A. Major Gaslarskepesmi.com, repository of Gusel song texts in Serbian Peter Boro performing Croatian music on the Gusel and Misnice, 1939, U.S. Library of Congress <laughs>